Something we showed on the top, you're an ordained minister, and uh, it is certainly in America, and I think oftentimes that extends to Canada, people perceive religion and politics to be a very right-wing thing. Tommy Douglas was ordained, you are an minister, and you never really associate the, the left wing with religion. Well, I think that's happened over the last 25 years, because certainly when I entered politics, the debate uh, was when people were questioning uh, the relationship between religion and politics, it was people saying, you know, those left-wingers, those social gospelers, those people that come out of the liberation theology mm -hmm. uh, movement, and they're trying to make a connection between religion and politics. They're trying to say that the economy is a moral issue, you know, terrible thing. Well, you know, the, the message of the social liberation theology is that there's not just two or three issues over here, you know, whether it's marriage or abortion or whatever, that are moral religious issues, how we treat each other, what kind of community we have, what kind of economy we have what kind of power relationships we have, who's in charge, you know, whether it's the corporations or the gov democratically elected governments. All these are ultimately, uh, you know, questions of morality and therefore questions that people of faith and people uh, of a secular point of view have an opinion on. And uh, narrowing the scope of what, you know, constitutes a, a religious question is something that I've been very much in that uh, the social gospel tradition of uh, Tommy and Stanley and others, uh, you know, sought to... Uh, get people to think more broadly about what it means to be a person of uh, faith in the world. You know,